Yeah, so it's one of the most exciting areas is the way operators are going to use AI to change their services, whether it be um, digital humans on a phone as personal assistants, or it be the connection of autonomous vehicles, um, obviously video and the enablement of talk to your video, make sure that you can see and collect the right um, uh, activities that are coming off video. This is an incredibly exciting area for how now generative AI is going to be deployed by operators to their businesses. When integrated with a large language model, LLM, we can expect to see relatively visible improvements in areas like a customer service touchpoint. Additionally, traditional communication services such as uh, messaging can be upgraded to a new level of customer experience through AI and large language models. So there is also a high possibility of creating a specialized services such as uh, public safety, which are difficult for existing OTT platforms to support. I think the edge network is probably the last frontier for communication service providers to capitalize on monetization of the network assets and investments that they've made. Um, and in this domain, it's perfectly reasonable to see AI inferencing being applied to the edge network uh, for workloads and services. Uh, so this could be done via revenue share model, or you could, at its most basic level, you could lease out central offices to hyperscalers or virtual specialists or integrators uh, to increase uh, potentially billions of dollars in revenue coming back to communication service providers. Well, you know, I actually think both use cases are linked but not the same, and that is on the, for business customers, I think it presents an opportunity for the operators as they deploy private networks like private 5G uh, that enterprises or business customers are going to require AI workloads to be run and the question is where and for their low latency and I think the operators have a tremendous opportunity uh, to push compute resources to the far edge to address those private networks specifically for that enterprise. Now, I also think for the consumer it presents a lot of opportunity for the operator in that there are going to be generic kind of applications that we use for inferencing. Some of them can just be fun that we use as an application that we download, but some might actually be practical use cases and most likely that's where the opportunity and revenue opportunity presents itself. So then in, in that particular scenario, it's still moving compute resources to the far edge. So now the operator can participate as opposed to having over the top services being delivered by another company, um, like some of the hyperscalers or other cloud-based um, services. So I think the operators pre are presented a tremendous opportunity to capitalize on both business customers and even consumers.